Hey everyone, I'm Rhys Carter, assistant coach of Melbourne United, and I'm gonna break down what our potential playoff series could look like. Now that we've locked in top spot, we'll be taking on one of the four teams to come out of the play-in tournament. The Jack Jumpers, the Hawks, the Kings, and the Breakers. While we wait to see who our opponent's going to be, let's break them all down. Let's start with the Jack Jumpers, a really tough disciplined team, obviously three years in the league, you know, third year trying to make the semi-finals, and um, you know, they always come with that toughness and the hard defense. Obviously, Jack McVeigh and Milton Doyle made the All-NBL second team, uh, and Jordan Crawford's been huge for them all year. We know what we need to lock in on. Um, we want to rely on our depth to really uh, push them for 40 minutes uh, each game. But uh, we also know that um, we probably owe them one from that semi-final series a couple of years ago. So um, you know, everyone here still remembers that, and uh, we're going to come in, you know, ready to go for that one. Up next, the Illawarra Hawks. Uh, obviously our last game of the regular season, uh, we played them pretty well. They're, they're quick, they're fast, they play in transition really well. And so we have to be really on point with our defensive transition again if we're gonna slow them down and, and you know, put them into a tough game. So uh, Gary Clark came out and made the All-NBL first team. Uh, you know, we're gonna have to do a job on him again, but they got so many pieces. You know, Tyler Harvey's carried that team for a few years. Justin Robinson's been great, so they, um, they're definitely going to be a tough battle, but uh, again for us, you know, we need to get back to playing our game, our, our style of defense. Um, uh, we have to be on point with our ball movement and, and making sure, you know, we get space for our shooters. So the Sydney Kings, uh, really interesting you know, potential matchup. So much talent, so much shooting can be put on the floor and, um, you know, obviously they uh, have mixed up their defenses during the year, so we've got to be ready for everything with that group. Um, but I've got an ex-MVP in, in Jalen Adams. Um, you know, it'd be a, a fun matchup to see IC go up against the team that he started in this league with. Um, but yeah, we've had epic battles with, with the Kings over the last four or five years since I've been here. And um, if we come up against them, we've got to be ready for a battle because, uh, you know, Melbourne versus Sydney, it's always huge. Um, like I said, I know we know they're talented and, and they can really put points on the board. So got to be ready to slow them down. They're great in transition and, and we've really worked our defensive transition. So um, got to really come in uh, on point with that. Finally, the New Zealand Breakers, uh, another potential really tough matchup. Um, we've had some huge battles with them all year. Every game's been a tough grind. They, they play physical, um, they really play hard, really similar style to us. So a lot of respect for them, but uh, we really need to make sure we're on point with their key guys. Parker Jackson Cartwright has been tough all year. Um, we need to make sure we do a job on him. Um, Will McDowell White battling through injuries, but still so effective. Uh, so we really need to lock in and, and take care of their main guys. But, um, you know, with them being such a tough defensive team, we've got to be able to get out and run. We've got to be able to, you know, get in space and, and not let them bog us down in the half court and play us physical and, and take us out of our offense. So relying on our depth to, you know, get guys in and out, stay fresh uh, and play at a pace that we think uh, suits our game. We're just excited to be back at JCA, home court advantage for our first semifinal game, 7th of March. Looking forward to seeing you all there. Can't wait.